Gala recently went on a massive tear, even stunning Avalanche after hitting a 160x increase in trading volume. Why is it comparing to AVAX? Well, because AVAX has a large gaming sector. Uh, according to this article from Crypto News Bytes, scroll down here just a little bit. Gala Games is among the gaming tokens making a breakout in the crypto market on March 11, 2024. The trading volume of this cryptocurrency surpassed 160%. If we take a look at the Gala chart on the weekly, believe it or not, guys, we are still in our discount zone. I am using the Lux Algo price action concepts, which gives you a brief view of where the trend is, what are some support and resistance levels, and where are a lot of the bids coming in. As you can see here, if you've been accumulating Gala, the best time would have been to accumulate in this discount zone uh, between essentially 1.9 cents, which it didn't get, a, well, got close to that. Uh, and uh, the upper bound is around 5 cents. Now, as mentioned on the weekly chart here, we did have a breakout above, but we wicked down into this discount zone again, and we are currently at the edge, the top edge of our discount zone. If we zoom out and take a look at what Gala did the last cycle, I mean, just an absolute massive rally from around 2 cents to 80 cents, over 3,700% increase. Obviously, their catalog of games has grown. Their verticals have grown. You have Gala Film, you have Gala Music. I also am going to share some audio clips from Jason uh, Bitbender from yesterday's Spaces he did with us. And he gave some alpha on the utility of the Gala token and how burns are going to help. Also, with what they're doing and how they front ran the deep in sector. Now, I mentioned the Gala Games, the Gala Games, uh, their catalog has grown fairly large, right? So you had the acquisition of Play Ember, which is one of the largest uh, mobile gaming studios. Uh, and then you have a lot of these in beta. A lot of these are live. Uh, you know, in talking with Jason yesterday, he did mention his favorite game was Last Expedition. You do have early access to it now. They got the Walking Dead Empires. Of course, the OG one where a lot of people that I know at least got in was Spider Tanks. And so as Gala, now on its own chain, by the way, continues to grow and add games to the catalog, it's only going to onboard more users. Gala has also made waves in expanding a new game studio into Santiago, Chile, this expansion marks a significant milestone in Gala's mission to revolutionize entertainment through empowering and immersive digital experiences. The Santiago studio is set to play a pivotal role in expanding Gala's portfolio of games, particularly focusing on live service games and accelerating development timelines. Uh, Pablo Mera, uh, which was appointed as a studio leader, said the following. The establishment of our studio in Santiago is a testament to Gala Games' commitment to pushing the boundaries of gaming and entertainment, particularly with live services. Santiago's rich culture of innovation and its pool of highly talented game developers create the perfect environment for our expansion of our gaming ecosystem. You also had a recent partnership with Thanks Network, revolutionizing rewards and retention. Thanks joins Gala Chain. Thanks Network is making huge strides in rewarding players and engaging communities, harnessing the power of gratitude and rewards. Thanks Network has developed a marketing solution to enhance player retention while also enriching gaming experiences. Uh, retention is a word used in the YouTube content creator space quite often as it is important to keep people on the platform and keep people watching your video. Same idea here. Keep people on your platform, Gala, and also keep people playing the games. Our ongoing collaboration with Thanks Network supports our commitment to empowering game developers and providing unparalleled experiences to the Gala community. Uh, then the first clip I'd like to share from the spaces yesterday was uh, Jason speaking on dozens of people building on Gala games and how deep in, right? A narrative you probably have heard of for the first time, maybe three, four, five months ago, is something Gala has been building out for the past three, four years. Listen to what he had to say. The nice thing about, um, it's, it's the both nice and uh, terribly frustrating about uh, the Gala ecosystem as a whole is that we have a tendency to build stuff about three years before anyone else realizes that it's a cool thing. And, it, and for us, it's just like, oh yeah, we built a thing. Awesome. Moving on now. Um, 
And then, you know, a few years later, everybody's like, oh my gosh, guys, what would it be like if, insert the thing that Gala did years ago? Um, and so the deep in is, is one of these things. Cause when I started seeing this, I, I, you know, originally saw the, um, the hashtag on Twitter. Right. And I'm like deep in, and then I like read it. I'm like, dude, we've been doing this forever. Like we've been doing this literally since the very beginning. Um, and so, you know, I, I think that, that, Two, two things. First is that if, if other people want to come and do deep end things and build stuff out, great. That's fantastic. Um, you could also just come in and use what we've already built and then add to it and build on it. That's also super cool too. Um, but yeah, there's the deep end is super cool and I'm very happy that we are contributing to it uh, to the extent that we are. So uh, Gala literally front ran one of the hottest narratives that is in the crypto space. And I do agree with Jason. It is pretty cool that you can just come in and build your own thing or you can take the foundation that has been that has been put down and just add whatever you'd like to add on top of it. And one of the reasons Jason, he was asked, I asked him asked this question, why did you decide to move from Ethereum to your own chain? And part of the reason that stuck out to me that he said was the Solidity programming language that is on Ethereum. Uh, he said it was a pain in the ass, quote. And so... Moving on to their own chain, large reason for that was to allow developers to have a easier time, a developer-friendly chain that they can build on top of or build completely from scratch. Taking a look at the Gala token here, we're currently sitting at 5.3 cents, ranked number 59 according to CryptoRank.io with a fully diluted market cap of $2.68 billion. You have a max cap supply of $50 billion. Uh, meaning, see, total supply is different. Max cap means there will never be more than 50 gala in existence with this contract. Now, of course, that can change if they decide to change the contract or maybe upgrade to a V2. I don't see that happening, but hey, never say never. Uh, and out of that 50 billion, you have 36.17 billion is already circulating, uh, which is around 72.3%. Now, the importance of a token, especially when you have money in it, is well, what does the token do? What will make the price of the token go up? Jason answered that question indirectly, again, in the spaces yesterday, talking about the utility of the Gala token and burning as well. The primary use case of the token, okay, is uh, basically it's the gas fee for the entire ecosystem. So, uh, and this, there's, there's, uh, let's see here, how much alpha can I fit into this conversation? without getting myself in trouble. <laughs> um, that is always the question, right? So so gas, right? Gas fees for the ecosystem. Now that's a very basic and, and fairly well understood concept. You know, hey, I want to send something to somebody or I want to perform some certain action. You know, it will result in the burn of a certain amount of gala to allow me to perform the action. The burning of that gala in the long term provides additional road uh, runway for the uh, Founders Node ecosystem and all of that. Um, and that's, uh, that's, that's that. Um, but there's a whole bunch of other stuff being built in the ecosystem that, oh man, here, I have to be very careful here. There's a bunch of stuff that's being built in the ecosystem that consumes and burns Gala uh, by way of providing um, services for users and projects within the ecosystem, okay? So there's the, the, the ability to create channels, there's the ability to spin up independent node networks, there's the ability um, to, to uh, stake gala uh to unlock certain functionalities uh for nodes in the future there's a little bit of alpha for people there mm. um there's the ability to uh you know to use your gala to access and make use of the dcdn functionality of the the node ecosystem there's a lot that the gala token does um that people don't yet really realize that it does and i wow so <laughs> what are things that make the price go up? You have speculation, you have gas fees. And with Gala, the list just continues to go on and on. I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, it would not be a smart move to have a 0% allocation to Gala Games. That is, they are the leader in the gaming space. 
They are among the top leaders when it comes to uh, decentralized physical infrastructure networks, also known as DPIN. The token, after the migration to the Gala chain, has a ton of liquidity, big partnerships, gaming studios being made. They stuck around in the bear market, multiple bear markets. And the team is always willing to speak to the community and give updates. That is one of the reasons Gala Chains is one of our favorite projects here at Sin City Crypto. Is it one of your favorite projects? Are you excited about Gala and what's coming next? Let us know in the comment section below and come check out our live show Monday through Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.